Welcome to the Fruget Seafood Test Kitchen today. Uh, Springtime, favorite time of year for you salmon aficionados. Uh, we've got a uh, little coho salmon for you straight from Alaska. All right, now we've got this in, uh, headed and gutted already. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and now go ahead and fillet this down. Uh, we'll just get started right here on the top, right along the backbone. Beautiful, beautiful looking wild salmon. All right, we've got that nice, gorgeous, bright orange salmon that everyone's accustomed to for a wild product. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all the pin bones out here. All right, and you always want to make sure you've got pin bones running all the way down the back side. I've got my nice little pin bone puller. I'm going to go ahead and get this pulled out. We'll get it portioned and filleted, and we'll start cooking. All right, now we've got our salmon broken down, portioned up. I'm going to season with a little salt and pepper. Uh, I'm going to do two dishes today. One's just going to be a kind of a salmon dish. The salmon's going to be the focus. Uh, I'm going to do a little sweet pea, spring pea puree, uh, a little charred Brussels sprouts, some tomatoes, some roasted potatoes. Uh, and the other, I'm just going to do a, a plated salad and the salmon's going to finish it. Um, so we've got our pan preheated here. I've seasoned it with uh, salt and pepper. I've got a non-stick skillet. I'm not going to put any oil down. The fat in the salmon will help to, uh, uh, to kind of grease the pan itself as it cooks. Skin off on this, you want to season both sides. I like my salmon nice medium rare to medium. We're going to go probably two or three minutes on each side here. Medium high heat. All right, and we've, uh, we've had about two and a half, three minutes here on the first side. We're going to go ahead and flip it over. Nice little crust, nice little sear. Now for my plated dish, I've got a couple of mushrooms that I've already kind of sauteed here with a little bit of uh, sherry vinegar, uh, salt, pepper, and a little paprika. I'm just going to want to reheat those in the pan. In about a two minutes on this side, and we'll be ready to plate. All right, now we're, we're cooked on both sides here. We're ready to go. We'll pull it off the heat. I like to set it on some sort of a paper towel or, or some sort of an absorber just to pull some of the grease off for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take our mushrooms. I've got our composed plate here. On the bottom is a uh, sweet pea and arugula puree. Uh, nice springtime, just a little bit of uh, roasted tomatoes. I got some purples on there, a little bit of chive. We're going to take our filet now that it's kind of, kind of got the grease absorbed right on top. All right, then just a couple of pieces of arugula just kind of lightly tossed in uh, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Right there we've got our wild salmon and then over here I've just got a nice little arugula and kale salad with a uh, whole grain and molasses must uh, whole grain mustard and molasses vinaigrette same roasted vegetables uh, I've also got some Brussels sprouts a little fresh tomato and you've got a nice little springtime salad and spring pea puree